But that's quite far away, because when I saw it, it was it sort of the image was that big, look, in this way up in the sky, it was that sort of that fat. <clears throat> It's just hard to get the whole thing because the wind. Like, yeah, you, it was too wide anyway. The first word would start to fade. Because it's say happy it sort of wide. East 81. Yeah, and long. Sean on the plaza, you know, it was yeah. happy birthday, John, uh, Sean. Yeah, it stretched like half the city. It was real cool. <coughs> like my father and my stepfather because they were both waiters. Greased the hair on a little pencil, you yeah. know, those cheap looking Valentino things down the horses. They got this big greased hair and this crazy like that. And I'm shoveling the food on the table like this with this old spaghetti and the fat one was just eating at me. And they're talking as if I'm not done and just doing it like John Cleese in fact. That's what <laughs> I'm you know, that is, Yeah, yeah. It that's was a great scene. That well that was my dream, you know, but he had it kind of ma he said that we're going to go on this tour, you know, and it's on a bus, and here he says, this quarter, you have to fill it in. So I said, well, when have, how long have I got? You know, you got a two days. Oh, I have. Okay. So I got two days, so I'm trying to fill in my, he has an hour written like that, you see. And who, would each of you going to do one quarter, or he's... Well, he was dividing up a bit like a record, you know, <laughs> but the fact is he'd written about ten songs, I had no I had walrus, there's only one John song in that film. I mean, it's entirely me. I contributed to, to um, the mystery tour songs. And what else is there? He's off through the hill and coming down the steps, mother and all we should know. What would make the movie? Oh, you know, okay, we'll get in on it, on the act. So walrus, I filmed that part too. And I, I had all these policemen on the top of this. We couldn't find a studio, so the guy got us an airplane hangar to film it, you know. And they had these big concrete blocks that apparently were to save the planes and the war. So I was doing this kind of Fellini thing where everybody... So we're all under the pressure. I'm not going to confuse myself with all the jokes. Well, whatever, we'll dress up with these funny people. And there's all these eggs. And I all the cops on the top of this thing. I got because I didn't know anything about real filming and the cameraman apparently didn't know and nobody else. I got into the editing room and it's out of frame for TV. You know, so I said, okay. So they pulled it, I said, pull it into the film frame. And the, the frame starts coming back over the top. I said, okay, we'll print the copy down below. So you see, if you ever see it, you'll see that all the, the, the sky, well, it's surreal again. The sky and the cops are all dancing underneath the group who's <laughs> playing with all the lunatics walking. And that's how that was made. When it was finished, what did you think when you saw it? Oh, I loved it, you know, because it was a trick. So everybody was down on it, but it was, it's all right. It's pretty. <laughs> so what? So it was the first album. But there's too much, nothing happening. There's nothing happening at all. But there's some nice moments, the dream sequence, the mother should know is a nice sequence, coming down with all those silly suits on, you know. Are you all right? Uh, Wait, did the, did the reaction surprise you? Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, but they were gunning for us before that. And what, they, what the BBC stupid idiots did, they showed it in black and white for us. Can you imagine? Around Christmas on, on BBC Two. Yeah. So it doesn't look well in black and white colour. You can just about manage it. And all the kids would have been all right in colour, but they put it in black and white, and then they reviewed it in black and white on BBC Two. And then, so by the time it came to be on in colour, I don't know if it ever got on in colour. But that was the end of it. It's like reviewing a mono version of a stereo record. Mm -hmm. Was that the the most? Was that the time that the band got the most criticism from the outside? Oh, I don't think so. No. This, the, the, yeah. the reviewer from me to you was below par Beatles and the NME. Yeah. So it started then. Below par, we'd only had two bloody singles out. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone thinks that, it's, that everything was a claim. Well, now they think it's all a claim, you know, and Chaplin and Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, but look at the reviews of the day. Not the claim. It's not all a claim at all. Some very nasty bits. After a point, though, wasn't it pretty much? No, never. Never was easy. Only promoters live in dreamland thing. Give me a beetle and I'll make a million. It doesn't work like that. All right, have a million. You've got to have a product. <coughs> Yellow Submarine bombed out, didn't it? Well, that's a great movie. No, but I don't think even was anything critical of it. Are you kidding? It was ripped to shreds. By critics? Yeah, no, the answer was by everybody that it was because they, pe people, the kids liked it. Sean loves it now. All the little children love it. Because they expected the real people to be moving the world through a trick. So that's one way, but still, I think it's a great movie. It's my favorite movie. When I have to look at myself, you see all the people moving. Have you ever seen them again? Oh, sure, I see them again. I see them different every time I see them. Because I'm changing all the time. I every time I see them. I'm not so hard on myself with the group when I see them. Did the reaction to Hard Day's Night surprise you? I mean, it got such a good review. Oh, no, those days they expected everybody to fall over. I think it's because it made them feel, it made them uncomfortable about their own mothers and their own fathers and their own childhood and their own Beatles. And, and they reviewed their emotions John. about what that album, it makes you feel you can't li listen to it in the background. Trust me. You, know, you can't just put it on to and, you know, have it going on like the Stones or something, you know the Beatles. You have to either listen to it or forget it. And you can't listen to it every other day because it's too, too much. You know, it's like going to see some heavy play. You don't want, if you're not in the mood, it's a destroyer. When you went in to do a match, how did, did the reaction to the first album affect you at all? I mean, did you want to do yeah, like a different Well, that was, that was sort of after Imagine was more of a success. And then I got a bit bitter saying, well, it's just the mother with chocolate on, they couldn't take it pure. Bob, can you let John in there to fetch it? Also, I felt like making it like that. That's why I didn't want to open all of them. Busy day. <laughs> yeah, busy day. <laughs> This is written today and put out now. It's about what's going on now. This is it's not, Ready? It's Drop. not a, uh, it's, it's not a Sky or Playboy. We do or a book. New Yorker. Yeah, the Daily Mirror. Or all these things. That's meaning don't expect the typing to be all right. And there's people coming to close me and it's the fine, it's the rush edition. And it's uh, there's no finesse on it. It's a newspaper. It's not a magazine. So, I think by mind games, it was just you were talking about earlier today about the, that that was it was hard for you to. Because then I was in confusion, you know, and Jesus, 
Wait, did you know it at the time? Or did you, did you have to look back oh, to I knew later? I was confused, all right, because every time I tried to clear it, I, it wasn't coming out clear. Mm -hmm. It was like, rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. What did you think at that time? That, you know, might I just wait and wait another year? Oh, I never or dreamt of waiting, no. But you, you, you always felt you had to have It's like being on stage and thinking, well, it's not a good night, I better stop. You know, you can't do that. You just do it anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So what was the feeling of that? You see, this, um, the, the mind game single is fine. There's just no energy to sustain through the album, and there's, there was no clarity of vision. Mm -hmm. There's a few pieces, all right, but as a, as a whole piece, there's no clarity. And the guy is there on the front with a little bag, and she's the mountain, and the whole thing says it. The cover says more than the record to me. Well, so when you finished that record, did you, it was in a sense not up to what okay. you'd done the first yep. few times, and then there's something in New York was a kind of an extra project. When you went into Walls and Bridges, so how did you feel? I mean, did you feel your confidence? <laughs> Excited, but still get a soft on. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You have those nights, and that's the, it's too bad. Mm -hmm. Well, when you when you finished with uh, Walls and Bridges, did you know you were going to take a break then, or you... no idea? But I tell you what's funny. <laughs> to everything. Is this the, the rock and roll? Is this the with the picture from Hamburg? Is this it? Just flashed in my mind for a split second, but I didn't consciously think it. Oh, was that on the record? Yeah. That was the last track of this. I wasn't. I was hearing that somebody else was saying it, and I was thinking, is he saying? Is that what he's saying? But, but, he's got he but then he didn't mean that because he it wasn't, it wasn't consciously conceived. But then I was, you know, I had no idea of not really doing it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it was. It was like a dream that you think. Well, oh, no, and then it's gone. You see, it doesn't occur to me again until something happens. You think, is this day to go? Oh. So when I did it, then I started remembering that, thinking, Jesus, it's like the Mind Games cover. Was that what it was? Yeah. Is that what it was saying? Was it premonition of my own self? It doesn't matter. But when you finish the album, if you go back six months and listen to it, can you learn things from it? The things that you didn't know Jesus did? Uh, I never do that. I always play the, the one before, just before I go in again. Like I played Walls and Bridges just before I came in, to see what, what state of the art I was at then, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. It was just miserable. Think miserable. The memory of when you were doing it. Yeah, yeah, it just brought all the misery back. But so mother can bring all the misery of that back. It does tend to. Do you keep, you keep it with Paul's albums at all? No, I, I dropped out round about the one where there's a rose in his mouth or something. Yeah. But I, I hear the singles. If it's on the radio, I hear it. And uh, I thought the coming up was great. And I like the freak version that he made in his barn better than that live Glasgow one, you see. I'm, yeah. The one that's on the album? The one that's with speeded up voices? Yeah, I think that that's... Uh, if I'd have been with him, I would have said, yes, that's the one too. And I, I thought that 
record company had a nerve changing it around on him, but you know, I know what they mean. They want to hear the real guy singing, but I like the freaky one. Stevie Wonder does it, nobody moans at him. If you stop listening to Paul, I mean, you, you, you weren't, did it with some sense of competition. But well, he was putting so, so much stuff, I couldn't keep up with all that tingly, tingly stuff going on on albums, you know, just dribbling on. How about in the beginning, though, when you did... Well, uh... They all wanted to suppose him, but I was so full of me, centered then, I didn't give a shit what he did, you know. Full of what? Full of myself, centered, uh -huh. in other words. So in a sense you weren't so just, comparing as much as you might have There's said. no comparison for me, because it was... You mean comparing artistically and, and comparing sales-wise? Oh, sales-wise, forget it. He, was, he always had more fans than me in the cabin, so there's no comparison on that level, and the other level doesn't... I don't think it counts. I think it's like comparing... I don't know, Magritte and uh, Picasso, if you want to put it on that level or whatever. How can you compare it? You Was know? there any sense of competition when you were it's, it's like a big old man back at all. Did you try to go with songs that were. Uh, I mean, did you work kind of like he had a better song than you? When, when we were all together? Yeah. There was competition. <laughs> There was always competitiveness between all of us, you know, in space and time. Was there any song when he came in that you really were impressed by? That, that was the role? I mean, if you, I'm you impressed, I'll run away and write one. <laughs> <laughs> you're impressed you know. by him? You mean you oh, if I'm impressed by the record on the air, I immediately make, I want to write. Warren <laughs> Reedy said that <laughs> about movies. A great movie is one that makes you want to make a movie. <laughs> I wish I'd made that. that Shit, like, I'd go right out and make it. That's like the composition of human beings, the composition of the artist? I don't know which it is, but it's that bit. He said it, and it's right. If I hear a great record, I mean, want to make it. And, well, mm -hmm. I'll make one like that. Was there, was there one of Paul's songs that you, you came in with that you thought was like, you were surprised they could write something that well, good? Or that no, he never surprised me, because it was like, you can be surprised by your brother mm -hmm. from age 15 on. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised by things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to yeah. It's hard to... Detail. It's not the real Bob Rowan holding that thing. You've got a panel over the front of it. How can you see Where? it? It says RCA on the window. I'm not looking through there. There's a TV in here. Oh, I see. It's not like a. Oh, that's oh, that's a little TV. I'm watching you on back of my TV. Yep. Oh, the old cameras you used to actually used to see through it, right? Yeah, that police one sure. you got me, remember? You could film in the night. <laughs> no, that had a TV in it. Oh.
until we were ready to to uh, gig. It's amazing, right? And it's not too soon before you head back. There would be pants, you know, kind of going Yeah, and stuff. rhythm. Oh, yeah. Can we try rhythm? Yeah. Well, it sounded pretty good. Oh, he's asking. Quick as war, I've been. <laughs> we had to leave the room. Going, they, have, they have a name for those short wars, don't they? What, what do they have? They have some kind of name for short, very quick wars. Skirmish? Yeah, yeah, like a three-day war. Didn't they have a name for that? Skirmish. Border skirmish. Yeah. Is Hal going to do some tricks now? Pretty soon. Oh, you have to tell him first, right? Yeah. Is it absolutely boiling in here again? It feels warm. It's the, the lights. lights, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't the lights, Dodgy? Oh, oh, no, it's okay. You no, no, I'm going. Oh, okay, he's going. Get it's a, it's it's a, it's it's a good cue, yeah. To where? Well, you give me the video. Yeah, I did. Come off, you know, I'm going off the oh, no. Well, I'll track it yeah, we're going to do No, 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 no. Okay, great. You wouldn't do that well. You want to get the heat off the drums? No, no, lights down. Okay. So let's just run the one machine and then... Yeah. Uh, so what you want to do is key the drum. 31 and 32, right? Yeah. Take them and put them through the gates and send a key off of, uh, off of, uh, let's see, 11 and 12. Yeah. So we're using the key Yeah. 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 Because somebody once asked us that.